All right, guys, welcome back to another one, oh, another Doogee. This is the this is the Doogee T10S. This one is kind of a higher trim model, obviously, than the T um, TE or the 10E. Uh, but um, this one has 11 gigs of RAM, four gigs total, and then or six gigs total, and then the five gigs virtual. Um, but uh, again, all baseline at 128 gigs with an SD card slot. Uh, so. Uh, pretty nice that they have such a huge variety. And right here you see a pen slot, folks. All these tablets work with the Doogee Pen. This is the, the Doogee Stylus that they have that you can grab. I actually already have one, a new one already out of the box. It's just sitting across the way over there. But you can you can use the, the, all of these tablets with that stylus uh, and it'll work just fine. So you can buy the stylus separately, uh, and then you have the um, ability to use pen input, basically. And remember, all these tablets uh, appear to be uh, LTE. You can see the signal on some of them. Did we get this one? Yeah, I think we get this one. Woo! Two out of five isn't bad. But, uh, you know, looking around the tablets, man, this is another sleek one. I can tell this, is, this one's going to be really nice. Uh, so, and these are all stock Android tablets that they're pushing out. Uh, and so, uh, this one is a full HD, uh, tablet. Uh, it is got a, a little bit, again, this is kind of a higher trim, if you will, from the other one from the 10 E. Uh, this one has the same 10.1 inch full HD display, but this has a 6600 milliamp hour battery. It is 8.4 millimeters in thickness. Uh, and then again, it has uh, the Samsung 8 megapixel shooter as the main camera on the back right here. Uh, and this one looks just as sleek. Uh, you've got your Type-C right here on the side, uh, not in the center. Uh, and you've got your volume rocker, power, microphone, and a headphone jack. Kind of much, pretty much everything's on the side of on that one. Clean on this side. So they decided to move everything to that side. And that's your slot for your SIM card. Uh, and SD card slot, and it looks like the speakers on the bottom of this one. So very nice. This is another sleek one. This is a very elegant looking one. I really like this. Uh, and again, these are all stock Android tablets that they're that they're pushing out. Again, that mobile network. Let me sign in offline for this one. Uh, um, we'll go to London again. Uh, but ultimately, you know, you're just looking at some pretty solid performing Android tablets overall. Uh, I believe this one has the T606 as well, and it is clock two clocked at 1.6 gigahertz, but it's fairly fast uh, to, to set up, and uh, wow, this one has a strong haptic feedback, very strong haptic feedback. Let me check the camera module on here and see uh, if it, that, that, that shakes me up every time. I need to give access to my phone in order to take a picture. I don't understand that, but anyway. Video on this one goes to 1080p. So, uh, pretty pretty sleek. Um, uh, in, in, in the way this one feels, let me sign into Wi Fi and then I'm going to uh test the speakers on this one since they're coming out of the bottom. Of them all, this has the strongest haptic feedback I have seen on any of these tablets. This is even more stronger than the than the uh R10. Uh, that's pretty impressive, man. So, wow, I mean, that. The vibration and the haptic feedback on here is just, it is, it's very strong in, in a good way. I'm sure you can, can um, lower it down as well. Yeah, with the speakers facing down, they're not as loud, but they'll get the job done. I have my car. Let me show you what's replacing this Camaro. Let's see here. Check it out. The screen will probably go to 1080p. Yeah. And the brightness is fairly high on this one. All right, guys. So here it is. This is my 2020. These are these are loud, but not super loud, but now, loud a enough. Bit of backstory on this car. Um, and again, like I said about the other displays, don't expect these just super duper X off the chart displays. However, they are good enough for social media and media consumption. So. Just bear that in mind if you decide to pick one of these up, which I will have uh, links in the description uh, as well. But overall, you're just looking again, folks, at a stock Android. Uh, this screen protector is super grippy. That's what it is. Uh, stock Android tablet 
with the capabilities to make phone calls and expand this out to a one terabyte through SD card. Now, one terabyte SD cards are kind of expensive, um, almost the price of this particular tablet. Uh, but the fact remains, this is an affordable tablet coming in at under 250 bucks. I think you'll probably be happy with this. It, you know, check the link in the description for the current pricing. But it does come in green, this gray, and a blue. Uh, and it's really nice. I gotta say, I like it. Again, LTE, 4G LTE tablets are almost, I think, of the past. And uh, this one right here feels really, really sleek. I really like it. There's your SIM card and SD card um, slot up top there. And that's that beautiful camera setup right there. I like the little modular setup looking. It's kind of like the the ones on the Samsung. It's kind of separated. I kind of like that. This is a very nice soft touch matte feel on this tablet. Feels really good. The bottom fire speakers is a nice touch. Uh, and, and, and this Type-C on the side here and then Sleek on this side uh, had to do something with the... Um, it must have been something with the way the, the internals are set up in here. But nonetheless, um, a pretty speedy tablet. Looks like it'll be a good uh, a good Android tablet for social media and web browsing. And can, can definitely uh, work better than a laptop for that matter if you don't want to spend money on a laptop because this has a 6,600 million power battery inside so this is going to last for quite some time anyway it's your man jay i hope you guys enjoyed um the t10s another affordable tablet from Duji. take care